Hi, this is Beata from Split Coast Dampers. In this video I want to show you how to cover a lunch bag and turn it into a little genie bag. You can use any size lunch bag uh, you'd like, but I'm using the 4x8 pharmacy bags. I think they come out real cute. My sample has stamps from Flourishes, Hearts and Flowers. The paper and the paper is from Victoria Paper Pad from Seven Gypsies. To begin with, you cut your lunch bag down to size. I'm using I'm going to cut it down to a square, to a 4x4 four four square. Next, you will need some cardstock. I already because my paper is really thin, I covered a piece of cardstock with the paper and I because I want to make it a uh, purse shape I made it bigger you could also just make it into a square and decorate that so for to make it a purse or a purse looking bag um, measure in on the bottom side of your cardstock 5 8 of an inch on both sides and put it in your paper cutter and line up your marking and the end of the cardstock with the cutting groove and just cut that off and then repeat it on the other side line up the edge and the marking with the cutting groove and cut it down there now before you here it to your to your uh, lunch bag base. Decorate it any way you want. I used um, a, doy, a full crochet border from my favorite things and some lace from May Arts. Now all you need is some strong adhesive. Best is if you add the adhesive to your bag because especially if you make it a arch shaped cover that is not the square the lunch bag is the adhesive might hang over otherwise you, another great way to cover these is with die shapes you can use um, label dies from Nestabilities or other other shapes from an electronic cutter it's endless. You can use them for birthday parties, Easter, Valentine. Okay, and now you just um, take your adhesive lining off and stick your first side on there. As you can see with the lunch bag, one side is usually a little bit bigger than the other. I have usually first taped down my front on the bigger side and just it around, center it on the, and line it up with the bottom of my cover. Oh. And I forgot one more thing, but we can do it on the back. No, we can do it on both. Um, if you want handles, you could just leave it like this, but if you want handles, cut some ribbon. Mine is nine inches long. And at here, add adhesive on each side. I usually put it on before I put the lunch back on and then just adhere that on the inside of your bag so it looks even more like a little purse and you can see how it would be easier if the bag wasn't on there yet use that as our guide for the other handle and put that on like you should before you put it on the lunch bag. This way we know they're even and stick the back side on and when you do that um, I line my paper up with the first paper 
the first cover that is already a tear because of the lunch bag being shorter on this one side. So I'm just trying to line it up. Stick it down and my little bag cover bag is done. I hope you try it out. You can make it for any occasion and it's really quick. See you next time.